Hi guys, welcome to PC Tips Row. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a online food ordering website with WordPress. Now, there are two basic requirements for this. First thing, you need a web hosting, which is the website hosting. And the second thing, you need a domain. Let's suppose if you are running a restaurant and if you want to have your website online to uh, deliver your recipes to your uh, customers, then I think this is the right video for you. So stay tuned, watch the complete video and I guarantee you that you will be able to learn. So as I explained to you before that you need two things. First is domain and the second is hosting, which is the website hosting. So now I'm going to divide this video into three parts. First is purchasing a domain and hosting. Second thing to set up the hosting and the third is to create the website. So let's move to the first part, which is uh, buying a domain and the hosting. So in order to buy a domain and hosting, you can open your browser. I'm opening up the Safari as you can see and uh, search for domain racer on the browser. Now you can see I got the domain racer website up. Now domain racer is a website where you can uh, go and register a domain and buy the web hosting. They have different different plans available. So first we will go ahead and click on this web hosting as you can see on the top. Now scroll down and first before going to register your hosting compare the plans that what exactly you need you can see they have four different plans first is basic second personal third silver and the fourth one is advanced so as you can see here the basic is for a single website you can see it's clearly mentioned that you can host a single website you will get 1 GB SSD space it will be the space where you can store your files data of your uh, website that means the database and everything and you can see you go you will get the 5 GB of bandwidth and 10 email IDs that means you can create up to 10 email addresses uh, with that domain now the second you can see is a personal it's again to host a single website but here the difference is you are getting unlimited SSD storage which is really very good and you're also getting the unlimited email IDs and unlimited bandwidth. That means there is no any restrictions with the personal. Now, if we compare, compare the third one, which is the silver. Personally, I would, as a website developer, I would suggest if you want to host one or two website or three website, because as you can see, host three website. That means you can host up to three websites. So this is the right one for you. But if you're a web developer, if you want to create multiple websites, then the last one, which is the advanced, is the best option for you because there is no new restrictions of the website. You can host up to up to n number of the websites with this. As you can see, host unlimited websites. You have all the features available, uh, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited emails, unlimited SSD storage. So this is really very good. So I'm going to choose the fourth option here, which is the advanced. So I will click on this view more option. And now you can see it's giving an option to uh, register the domain. So I will enter the domain which I want to register for my online food ordering website. So let's say uh, let's say I'm going to create a pizza web website. So I will type pizza online right dot com so personally i would suggest to register a bit dot com extension which is really very good so after typing the website i will click on this check option wow that's great you can see the domain is available so here uh, once the domain is available then click on this continue option and uh, here just go ahead and review uh, what orders what exactly you are buying here so you can see this is the advanced uh, hosting we are buying here with uh, uh, the one year package 
so click on continue option and here you can see uh, the domain is coming up on the top which is pizzaonline.com so as they are providing one free domain registration that means you will not have to pay for the uh, domain name registration you will only have to pay for the web, uh, website hosting so you can see uh, you can either uh, use this DNS management and the ID protection let me explain you how these two will work the ID protection is something uh, which help you to keep your domain name private that means your domain name information will be private if someone is searching for your domain name that who is the owner of the domain name they will not be able to find it now you can see the DNS management what it will do this external DNS hosting can help speed your website and improve ability with increase residency that means let's suppose let me explain you how this work when you search for a website or any keyboard on the Google then Google give you you know the website in the order like first second third like that so Google always rank the website on the top which come which you know which open quickly that means if you if your website is feels very good then obviously Google will rank your website so this will help you there also so here for this time I'm going to skip these two part so I will go ahead and click on this continue option if you want you can add which is really very good two features you can I would suggest personally to add those two features so as you can see the domain name was for free so there is no any charge for the domain name uh, but as you can see uh, the uh, the, is the hosting is costing 3351 which is very reasonable price so again I will click on this checkout option and we'll just go ahead and fill all the information here and uh, then at last click on this uh, pay option in the bottom you can see the complete order and you will be able to uh, successfully register the domain name as well as your hosting so it was the first part now I will come to the second so guys let's move to the second part uh, the second part is to configure your website hosting so basically when you will uh, sign up with the domain racer you will have your credentials that means you are using your email and the password to login into your account so you will either receive uh, your login credentials in the email or you you should remember remember when you are when you are about to sign up so here I have got the details to login into my hosting account so I will open my hosting uh, account with the address and I will enter my ID and the password now you can see this is the hosting account so now this is the second part where we are going to configure our hosting that means we are going to install the WordPress in our hosting so that we can create the restaurant website or the online food ordering website with the WordPress right so once you will log in into your cPanel which is your hosting account then scroll down to the very bottom and uh, you will find there is an app section as you can see this is the app installer uh, where you can install several apps so you can see the first one and the top one is the wordpress so click on this wordpress now here you can see on the top there is an option coming up install you can see if i scroll down there is no any wordpress installation showing that means I haven't installed any WordPress on any of the domain till now but this is the first I'm going to install so I will click on this install button now it will ask to choose the domain so here you can see I am selecting a domain which is by default so the pizza online I'm not selecting that domain because I didn't buy that domain because because I already have a domain with uh, domain racer so I'm going to select the domain uh, the domain which is available in my uh, hosting account now here you can see it's asking to choose the version of uh, WordPress you want to install so just leave it as it is don't mess with them with that part and scroll down now you can see this is coming up the site name the site name will be your website name which will represent your website so I will just simply type pizza online oh. 
corner this is just a random mm random name i'm giving here it's up to you however you want to i mean whatever the name you want to use and uh, if i talk about the description i'm just going to type a simple description that uh, this is a pizza ordering website i just said the uh, site name and the description is up to you uh, you can type according to your needs and according to your uh, you know the uses so here you can see the admin and the password this is admin and the password it will be for your uh, wordpress hosting that means for the next time when you will log uh, log into your wordpress you will have to enter the same credentials so make sure you should remember that so i'm going to keep the admin is also admin and the password is also password now here it's coming up here the bad password but you can try to make stronger part password that will be helpful so here the language obviously it will be english and uh, then leave these things as it is don't do any changes here and uh, after that scroll down a little bit and here you can see on the bottom most it's giving option to uh you know to uh, install the theme so to install the theme first of all click on this show all theme it will give you the list of all theme here and as i'm going to create the pizza website so i will search for pizza so yeah as you can see i got a pizza uh, theme that's really good so here you can see i got the pizza website uh, the theme up and i'm uh, as you can see this is the this is the way how the theme will look like so i will select this theme and i will go ahead and click on this install and as you can see it's checking the installation part and as you can also see the note here that this may take 3 to 4 minutes please do not leave this space until the progress bar reach to the 100% so we will have to wait to complete it otherwise we might get some fatal error here so guys make sure this is the third this is the second part we are going to cover the uh, wordpress installation as well as the theme installation in the last part i will just show you how you can configure uh, you can you know customize your theme and you can give the best look to your website now you can see the con congratulations the software was installed successfully that means this theme was installed successfully here now not only the theme make sure the theme as well as the wordpress is successfully installed so if i want to go ahead and see the website uh, the installed website i will click on this link and it will redirect to the website because as you can see it will give you two different link one is where you can see the website and the second is administrative url where you can make the changes to your website so now i will move to the third part as you can see this is the way how the website is looks like which is the pizza ordering website and uh, if you click on this second link which is the admin part it will give you the interface where you can make the changes to your website you can edit uh, the header part body part footer part sidebar everything you can create as many as pages you want like the about us contact us page everything so you can see this is the third part where is the customization customizing your uh, a theme your website right so if you scroll down here you can see uh, at the left side there are a lot of the options coming up like you can make a post you can insert media to your uh, website and to your pages you can see this is the pages coming up so by clicking on this pages you will be able to see how many pages are in your website as you can see you have got about blog contact home menu privacy policy and symbol page so if i go to the website if i go back to the website so these options these pages are available here as you can see this is the home page this is the blog page this is about us page you can see this is how this about us page looks like this is just a simple website make sure guys you will have to configure it you will have to customize it again you can see this is the menu website 
you can see the pricing and the table everything and uh, the last website the last page is the contact us page as you can see oh, it's really very attractive website so you can see here the address is coming australia and the in the footer also you can see this is the order address is coming up new york usa these changes you can make from here uh, you can see about us uh, blog so below the about you can see the edit option you can click on this edit option and you can make all the changes in the about page in the menu also you can see the edit option coming up and uh, if you want to change the theme you can click on this appearances go to the theme option you can uh, install another theme if you want if you want to install any plugins you can click on this plugin option and in install the plugin according to your needs and this is the comment section where you can uh, reply to any comments if any of your visitor website visitor is commenting and uh, that's all guys you can see these all options these all the uh, you know the menus you have got to make the changes to your website so i believe i have covered everything in this video but still if you need any assistance or if you have any query to create the website which is the online food ordering website you can write in the comment section and i will be there to answer and guys please do not forget to subscribe and uh, share this video to your friends so thank you so much uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys cheers